We come to bring you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The Bible tells us in John 8, 31 and verse 32. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. If ye continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. Then are you my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth. The Bible says you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall make you free. The Bible let us know exactly what is truth. John 17 and 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Sanctified, the word means set apart. Thy word is truth. Said thy word is truth. Talking about the word of God and Matthew 4 and verse 4. But he answered and said. He answered and said. It is written. It is written. Man should not live by bread alone. Right. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Romans 3, 3 and 4. For what if some did not believe? Now there are some that don't believe. Shall they unbelieve make the faith of God without any faith? All right. God forbid. The Bible says God forbid if you don't believe, it does not make the faith of God without any faith. Yeah, let God be true. Say, let God be true. But every man a liar. But every man a liar. And we're coming up to one of God's feast days. Talking about the feast of trumpets. But the world mainstream religion say that we are no longer obligated to keep these feasts. Now we want to go to the book of Deuteronomy. Now remember, Jesus said we must live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. In 2 Timothy 3 and 16, all scriptures given by the inspiration of God. All right, every scripture, all scripture was inspired by God himself. And it's profitable for doctrine. This is the only thing profitable for doctrine. For reproof. Reproof. For correction. Correction. For instruction and righteousness. All right. Let us let the word of God correct us. Deuteronomy 4, chapter 4, and verse number 5. Let us hear what it says. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. I have taught you statutes and judgments. Even as the Lord my God commanded me, mm -hmm. that you should do so in the land where you go to possess it. Right. Keep therefore and do them. The Bible says, keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. And it's talking about statutes, God feast days, and you'll find an outline in Leviticus 23. And by knowing, observing those feast days, that is what gives understanding of the scriptures. Now we want to go to Leviticus 23. And let us begin at verse number one. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, mm -hmm. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto the children of Israel. And say to them, mm -hmm. Concerning the feast of the Lord. All right, concerning the feast of the Lord. Which he shall proclaim to be holy convocation. These are holy gatherings. Even these are my feast. Mm -hmm. Six days shall work be done. But the seventh day, the Sabbath of rest and holy convocation. All right, the very first thing that is named here is the seventh day Sabbath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. All right. These are the feasts of the Lord. And then he said, These are the feasts of the Lord. Even holy convocation. 
which ye shall proclaim in their season. All right, so these feast days come in certain seasons. All right, what it said. In the 14th day of the first month at even is the Lord's Passover. All right, so the very first one is the Lord's Passover. And on the 15th day of the same month is the Feast of Eleven Bread, and to the Lord seven days he must eat eleven bread. All right, we're not going to go down through all of them, but there are seven feast days. And each one represents a step in the plan of salvation. And if you don't understand them, you can't understand the plan of salvation. And if you don't observe them, then I know you don't understand them. But, and then, let, let me go to Colossians 2 and 16. Now, this is one of the scriptures that are used by mainstream religion to say that the feast days are done away with. Let us hear what it says in Colossians 2, beginning at verse number 16. Let no man therefore judge you in me, or in drink. Let no man therefore judge you in me, or in drink. All right. Or in respect of unholy day, mm -hmm. or of the new moon, new moon, or of the Sabbath days, of the Sabbath days, mm -hmm. which I shadow things to come, but the body is of Christ. All right. So. Paul was talking to people that were observing the weekly Sabbath and the annual Sabbath, and he also spoke of the, sacro the, the law concerning what we must eat and not eat. But now, let us go back to the first chapter to see exactly who Paul was speaking to. Colossians 1, beginning at verse number 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, mm -hmm. to the saints and faithful brother in Christ, which, which are at Colossians. All right. He was speaking to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Colossae. Mm -hmm. So that's why he said, don't let anyone judge you in keeping these days, which is the Sabbath day and the feast day, because the Colossians, once they came to Christ, they were observing these days. Yeah. Now, you can't be judging anything that you are not keeping, that you are not observing. In this scripture in Colossians, it's not talking to anyone that has observed Sunday worship. He's talking to people that are keeping the Sabbath and the feast days. Let no man judge you in these things. Isaiah chapter 1. Beginning at verse number 13. Bring no more vain abominations. Incense is an abomination to me. Mm -hmm. The new moon. The new moon. And Sabbath. And Sabbath is with an S. Talking about the weekly Sabbath and the annual Sabbath which are God's feast days. The calling of assembly. The calling of assembly. I cannot wait for you. He said, I cannot do away with these things, even though mainstream religion are saying that they are done away with. God it said, is, I cannot. All it, right. It is iniquity, even the solemn meeting. Even the solemn meeting. Your new moon. All right, but he said, your new moon. And your appointed feast. And your appointed 
see, there are days that mainstream religion observe. Nice. And they're, they're saying that Sunday is the Sabbath day. But that's what he's calling your new moon, your feast days. What else he say? My soul hate it. He said, my soul hate them. They are trouble to me. All right. I am weary to bear them. All right. So you better get it straight. And what's right is what's written. There, the Bible said that the seventh day is the Sabbath, not the first day. Amos 5, verse 21. I hate, I despise your feast day. I despise your feast day. I will not smell in your solemn assembly. All right. Though you offer me burnt offering. Though you offer burnt offering. And your meat offering. Mm -hmm. I will not accept. I will not accept people uh, serving, call themselves serving God, and some are diligently doing it, and they're sincere about doing it, but they're not doing it right. And he said, I will not accept it. Neither will I regard the peace offering of your fat be. All right, so they're doing it in vain. Mark 7 and 7 say, in vain do they worship me. Teaching for doctrine, the commandment of men, and laying aside the commandments of God. All right, Luke 6, 46. Let's hear what it says. Luke 6, verse 46. Let us hear what is written. Jesus said, it is written. And why call ye me, Lord, Lord? He asked a question, why call ye me, Lord, Lord? And do not the things which I say. And do not the things which I say. I want you to stay tuned, and we're going to continue showing you what's written and what is the truth.